All right, here's a couple more examples of simulations, just to piggyback off the others. Remember, what do we try to do in a simulation? We're trying to find the probability of an event, and we're trying to understand it through short-term behavior, even though to find the true probability, we really need to think about long-term behavior. All right, so here's our next simulation. Mr. Princhek has 45 students in his AP Statistics class, 12 girls, 33 boys, and he randomly picks two of them to get bonus. The two students picked are both girls, so of course, the boys are crying and claim Mr. Princhak was being sexist. So what is the probability both students picked are girls? Is it likely? Because that way I could tell the boys, no, I'm not being sexist. See, it is true. It could easily be all girls. So the first step, remember, is that I need to identify what numbers I will use. Okay? I'm going to use a different color here. Okay, so what numbers I will use? Well, um, I need to make sure that there are 12 girls and 33 boys. So I will use numbers 0, 1 through 45. Okay, where 0, 1 through 12 would be a girl, and uh, 13, uh, 13 through 45 would be a boy. Okay, that represents my 12 girls and my 33 boys. So I make sure I guys say ignore 0, 0, because I'm not having that included at all, and I also have to make sure I ignore 46 through 99 because all those numbers need to be ignored as well. Step two is I will use a random number table where numbers will represent students. Okay. Uh, number three here is when will the trial end? Um, I will pick two students. That's it. Pick two students and record their gender. That is when a trial is over. So the fourth step is saying I will run. Let's run 10 trials. I will run 10 trials and see how many have two girls. Because remember, I'm looking for how many of my trials have two girls. Okay, so let's actually go ahead down there. So I wrote some random numbers down there. So key thing you got to keep in mind, 0, 0 is ignored. And remember, 0, 1 through 12 is a girl. 13 through 45 is a boy, and um, i got to make sure that I'm very clear that 0, 0 is also being skipped. Okay, so trial number 1. So I got 11 and 16, okay? 11 and 16 is a girl and a boy. Trial 1 is now over. By the way, I'm actually representing picking students. So once Sally gets picked, she cannot be picked again, obviously, for bonus. So I have to make sure that um, I'm ignoring repeats as well. Okay? I'm just going to go ahead and pick up right where I left off. So 43. So 43 and 63 would be ignored, and then there's 18. So that would be boy and boy. All right, trial three. And again, I, pick, I started right there, so let's pick up right where I left off. 75, ignore, 06 and 13. So 06 and 13. So that is a girl and a boy. So trial number four. And um, if you ever get lost in your numbers, just start on the next row. It's not really a big deal. So again, 21, and can't do 21 again, so 59, skip, 17. So 21 and 17. That would be boy and boy. Trial 5. All right, let's see here. Where did I leave off? 91, ignore. 76, ignore. 83, ignore. 15, 86, ignore. 78, ignore. 87, ignore. 05. So 15 and 05. That is a boy and a boy. Trial 6. Okay, let's see here. Pick off right where we left off. 43 and 16. 43 and 16. That is a boy and a boy. And trial 7, let's see here, 87 ignore, 93 ignore, 20, 54 ignore, 36. So 20 and 36. So that is a boy and a boy again. 
trial 8. And again, oh, I lost where I'm at. Let's just start in the next line. 10, 43, ignore. Oh, no, I'm sorry. We wouldn't ignore 43. So that'd be 10 and 43. So that's a girl and a boy. Let's see. I'm running out of room. We'll come over here. Trial 9. 84, ignore. 44 is a boy. 82 ignore, 66 ignore, 55 ignore, 83 ignore, 76 ignore, 49 ignore, uh, ignore 08. So I got uh, four, let's see, what were my numbers again? Uh, 44 and 8. So 44 and 08. Those are both boy, boy. And one more trial. Let's just go ahead and start this next line here. 36, that's a boy, 79 and 22. So 36 and 22, that's a boy and a boy. Okay, so out of my 10 trials, how many resulted in two girls? Zero. So as of right now, there's a 0% chance. So, uh-oh, maybe the boys really have reason to say I'm being sexist because I just ran 10 trials and there's a 0% chance of getting two girls. So maybe they really do have something to say in terms of me being sexist because so far it has been impossible to get two girls. However, the true probability of getting two girls in the long run probably isn't zero, but after 10 trials, I'm going to say it's probably pretty low. But again, I need to run more trials to get that true probability. Okay, and this is the type of question that you have to think yourself is, you know, what probability would make the boys happy? If I said, no, guys, come on, there's a 5% chance of getting two girls. Would that make them be like, oh, okay, I get it, or 10%, 15%? And that's something that we're going to talk about more in class. But that was a pretty good example. All right, here's another one. In the game of Scrabble, each player begins by drawing seven tiles from a bag containing 100 tiles. There are 42 vowels, 56 constants, and two blanks. Mary is shocked when her seven tiles are all vowels. Should she be shocked? What's the probability of this happening? All right, so once again... First step is identifying what numbers we're going to use. Well, there are zero tiles, so I could use 0, 0 through 99 as my 100 tiles. Okay, now there are 42 vowels, so I'm going to use 0, 0 through 41 to be a vowel. And then I would use 42 to 98 to be a consonant. And then that leaves me with 99, and actually I did this kind of wrong, sorry, I got to backtrack here for a second. I would actually do 42 through 97, 42 to 97 would be my 56 consonants, and 98 and 99 would be my blanks. Okay, so just understand this, so 0, 0 through 41 would be 42 numbers, those are my vowels, 42 to 97 would be 56 numbers, most students will do like 97 minus 42 and say, well that's not 56, but you got to remember, you got to count 42 as well, so you're actually doing 97 minus 41 and you'll be left with the 56 um, constants, remember you're getting rid of all the numbers below 42, you want to include 42, and then 98, 99 would be my blanks, okay, so um, um, I don't have to worry about repeats. Uh, or actually, I'm sorry. I do have to make sure I ignore repeats because once one of those um, tiles has been picked, it cannot be picked again. So I have to ignore repeats. So I make sure I say that. Ignore repeats. I don't have to worry about ignoring numbers outside my range because I don't have any numbers outside my range. I'm literally using all the double-digit numbers. All right, step number two is I will use a random number table where numbers are tiles. So I'm using ni uh, numbers to represent the tiles from Scrabble. Okay, so that's what step two is. Just tell me what you're using to represent. Step three is um, when will a trial end and how do you, what are you going to record at the end of each trial? So a trial ends after seven different tiles, making sure I got to ignore repeat, seven different tiles, and I will record how many vowels, okay, because remember, she got all seven vowels, I'm going to record how many vowels there are, so at the end, I'm, let's just say I will run here, I will run, let's just do five trials, and record 
how many have seven vowels. Okay? So, should make a lot of sense. Look at numbers. I need seven different numbers. Seven, how, count how many of them are vowels. And then it's a successful trial if there are all seven vowels. Okay, so here's my random number um, list here. And let's go ahead and start right away. Just let's do a quick recap. Remember, 0, 0 through 40. Uh, one, I believe, was vowels. I'm going to go back and make sure I say this. I don't want to say it wrong. Yeah, 0, 0 through 41 were vowels. Okay. Everything else is a constant. So, trial 1. 65, 28, 59, 71, 98, 12, and 13. Let's see here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. There's my seven different tiles. So this is a consonant. This is a vowel, consonant, consonant, blank, vowel, vowel. So I only had three vowels. Well, that's not a successful trial. Trial 2. Let's do it again here. Let's just start on the next line here. 17, 26, 45, 73, 27, 38, and 22. So there's my seven numbers. See, vowel, vowel, consonant, consonant, vowel, vowel, vowel. Okay, but how many vowels is that? One, two, three, four, five. That's only five vowels. That's not a successful trial. Remember, Mary got all seven vowels. Okay, trial three, 95, 63, 99, 97, 54, 31, and 19. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 tiles. Consonant, consonant, blank, consonant, consonant, vowel, vowel. Only two vowels there. Trial 4. Let's see here. Trial 4, the fourth line there. Let's see. 61, 55, 57, 64, 04, 86, 21. So that's consonant, 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 vowel, consonant, vowel. So two vowels. That's an unsuccessful trial. So last trial, trial five. Let's just go to that fifth line here. We got 78, 13, 79, 87, 68, 04, oh, 68 can't come up again. That tile was already chosen. I've got to make sure I ignore repeats. So I'll go to 98. Okay, so that's consonant, vowel, consonant, 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 vowel, and 98, remember, was a blank. So that was two vowels. So out of my five trials, so let's come over here. I'll use a different color so, you can, so it stands out. Out of my five trials, there were zero times that I had all seven vowels. So, so far, after five trials, there's a 0% chance of getting all seven vowels. So, Mary probably should be kind of shocked. That is kind of rare to get all seven vowels. Now, is this the true probability? No. And that's the main point I'm trying to prove to you through all of this, is that I only ran five trials. The true probability of an event doesn't come to a single final answer until you have ran a huge number of trials. And that's the law of large numbers. The true proportion of an event occurring doesn't show itself until a large number of trials. All right? So there's a couple more examples of some simulations. That way we could practice them more in class. And hopefully if you watch this video, you learned a little bit more about simulations.